Now, for private market real estate debt, you may be required to calculate the leverage internal rate of return or IRR and also the unleveraged IRR. So the leverage IRR here assumes that debt is taken out to buy or purchase a property. And for the unleveraged IRR, here it assumes that it is 100% equity funded and there will be 0% debt. Now let's look at an example here where property has been appraised for $8 million and is expected to have a net operating income of $720,000 in the first year and the lender is willing to make an interest only loan of $6 million at a 7% interest rate and the balance of the loan will be due after 7 years and suppose the property is sold for $10 million let's say after 5 years so what IRR will the equity investor receive on his or her investment? So we'll make use of the time value of cal uh, time value of money function in your calculator. So if I draw the timeline, okay, at time zero, uh, if you are let's say assuming that this is a leverage IRR calculation, so at the start uh, you will only have to come up with two million dollars because the property is eight million, but you took out a loan of six million. So net, uh, we only the equity investor only has to come up with a uh, two million funding okay then every year you will get a uh, net operating income of 720,000 but then you have to service the interest so the interest here will be the six million dollar loan multiplied by seven percent so that comes up to 420,000 per year so the net cash flow every year will be your NOI minus the interest so if you take 720,000 minus uh, 420,000 so that comes up to a net of 300,000 every year for that uh, f 5 years. Okay, since our holding period is 5 years here. So that will be net 300,000 every year. Okay, for 5 years. So that goes on up to year 5. So in year 5, you will get the 300,000. And then after that, we're going to sell the building for 10 million. So upon receiving the 10 million, you will pay back the loan of 6 million. So that leaves the equity investor with uh, 4 million dollars. Okay, so with that, we'll then calculate what is your IRR on this investment. Right, uh, let's clear the cash flow worksheet. So your out your initial outlay here will be negative two million for the equity investor. That's PV, and then three hundred thousand will be the PMT, and this is for five years. And then your FV will be four million. Then we compute your IY. Okay, so that's 26.77% per year. So the leverage IRR will be 26.77% per annum. Twenty-six point seven seven percent per annum. Now what if the property were purchased on an old cash basis where no loan is taken? So if no loan were taken, then at time zero, the investor will have to come up with the entire $8 million to buy the property. And then from year one, year two, up to year five, the investor will receive all the NOI. So you will get 720000 every year for up to five years. And then, at the, of course, at the end of five years, you will sell the property for $10 million, And that is all accrued to the investor. Okay. So in this case, if you use the calculator. So I will key in $8 million as the outlay, PV. And $720,000 as the PMT. And then $10 million as the FV. Then we compute the IY. So that's 12.87%. Okay. So your unleveraged IRR. will be equal to 12.87%. So we can see that in the case where you made a profit on the sale of the property, the leverage IRR will always be greater than the unleveraged IRR of the property.